Hi Aries, welcome back to your channel. Um, this is going to be your next 24 hours. It's going to be a quick one because I did your 48 already. So this is going to be a 24. I've been called to use this deck. I don't know why, but Angel said you need to use this one. So I'm going to pull a couple of messages from this little deck here. Okay. All right, you guys. So just know that you're a diamond. Just know that you're special. Continue to shine bright and beautiful like a diamond. Let's pray, you guys. Heavenly Father, as I come before you, I ask for your blessings for myself and for my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so... For your next 24, just know that this reading is a general reading and not a personal one, all right? So with that being said, it may resonate with you and then again, it simply may not. Please take what does resonate with you, Aries, and leave the absolute rest. The roles could always be reversed. Cross watchers, the same applies for you guys as well. Now just know that personal reading is definitely available here on the channel. All you have to do is simple. Check in the description of this video to see how to connect with me to have a personal reading done, okay? All right, let's see what angels have for you here. And again, the angels that I'm going to be resonating with to help me with these four reads that I have to do, which is your 40, age of 24, um, the no contact in the single is the angel of health. I'm going to remain, let this angel stay here. And it's the 16th angel in line, all right? I will mention in the other two reads that I have to do. However, I am going to do an affirmation for the next 24 hours. Let's see. What is the affirmation, please, for the next 24 hours? All right, so your affirmation is saying here, I resist those who have me. I resist those who would have me bend to their will. I resist those who have me bend to their will. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Mm -mm. So you already know. That's calling for understanding right there. Because there's no way, shape, or form that you could have someone bending you to their will. Your next 24 hours is saying it's a hell to the no. Okay, it will never happen. You will never bend to anyone's will. If you allow yourself to be bent to another person's will, believe it or not, you will be dealing with a narcissist. Okay, that is period and point blank. Okay, that is a narc. You don't, you will be falling. Okay, don't be bending to anyone's will. That is your affirmation. So if you're in a relationship where this person will not have you have a mind of your own or whatever the hell is going on here, trying to have an understanding as to why this person is having me bend to their will, then it's time to go. Hit the road, Jack, honey, and don't you come back no damn more, no more, no more. Okay. What's the message here? I've been called to use this deck. Let me see why Angel wants me to use this deck tonight. I love your head vibes. Somebody's saying I love your head vibes here. I want your bedroom vibes. What's going on here? I will bend. <laughs> I will bend. Why do I feel like somebody's having sex with somebody that they really don't want to do? You really don't want to have sex with this person anymore. But you still do. Your karma, but love your voice. What's this? This person loves the way you give head for that's for sure. And somebody knows that this is all karma or karmic or whatever, but still doing it. I regret letting you go. So if this is not you, then this is this person. You may regret letting this person go or they may have regret letting you go because they like your bedroom vibes. I love you, but not your body parts. What? Duh. So, okay, so they love your body part, but they like your bedroom. They, they don't like your body parts, but they love the way that you give head. What? Baby daddy, baby daddy drama. Baby daddy, baby mama drama. Baby daddy drama. Somebody's feeding abuse right now. 
first star is on my mind. So somebody just don't want to do that no more. I feel like somebody does not want to do this anymore. But this person wants to come over. They want, they need it. They want this head game here. Somebody's really good at giving head here. What's going on here? Fake as fuck. Somebody is, I feel like this person likes both sex here. They're going to be paying for your time or something. They even want to pay for your time. That is how much they like your, your head game. I never see this one coming. <laughs> honey, honey, honey. I never seen this one coming. Aries. Okay. Next 24 is hot. Your next 24 is hot, honey. Hot as hell. Okay. Let's pull some messages some out of this, this deck here. Okay. Because boo thing. All right, yeah, somebody's damn gifted at what they do. And this person knows that you're gifted, okay? It's something about the tongue. They stay playing in your energy, among other things here. Now, what's the next 24, please? What's the next 24? There's someone else I still have feelings for. So this person is still seeing somebody. This They've seen somebody else here. So that tells me that you're not the only one. But some of you already know this. That this person may be seeing somebody else. It's okay to be alone sometimes. Damn. Angels, thank you. Somebody's trying to reach out to you. You're trying to be lonely and they're trying to reach out. All right. Somebody's about to hear something. Okay. It's going to be upsetting. You're going to have confirmation on this third party situation. That's on period. Because somebody is playing the fiddle, honey. Pleasure is all it was. I'm telling you. I'm saying. Let me get another one, angels. Let's get another one somewhere. Let's get another one because we need to clarify some things here. <laughs> Look at that. Broken. So whatever this is, whatever is going on with this next 24, somebody does not like what's happening here. Somebody is not feeling that anymore. Even though you may really enjoy being in the in the in the presence of this person, even though you know you have such a sexual connection with this person, somebody's right now knowing or feeling or just coming to terms that something just doesn't feel right anymore. Someone is either trying to let a situation go here or whatever this is. Mm -mm. I'm not drawn to this deck. Let me get something else, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let me have some clarity on this next one. What is this that I'm seeing here? Let me have some more messages here, please. Next 24, please. Look at that. That wasn't meant to be, so I'm not going to get it. I don't feel like go getting it. Somebody's fucked up. They fucked up over you because they know you're the best that they ever had. This is a divine masculine. In the reverse, a feminine. Okay, take it out. It is, but you're hoping to deal with this person. This person is very strong. You, know, you might be fucked up over this masculine. Why are you even feeling trapped here? Um, but one, maybe you're trying to turn your back on this person. Because this person is a sweet talker. All right. Let's see. I don't know what's going on. You need to like tap it into spiritual form here. This is what I'm seeing you doing. Somebody's about to change a situation here. Somebody's wanting to change something here. Because you're not feeling happy with the way things are going with your life. Um, because somebody's either block or you're about to block this person. Spam calls and text. Look at that, you guys. Spam call and text. You're sending this person to voicemail because of a shocking truth. You might have heard this news already that this person is thug in their life and being a jackass here. Keeping damn secrets, okay? And tampering in your feelings for no damn reason here. And being a damn stalker. For real. A cycle crazy ex obsessed and won't let your ass go because you give this person the best head they ever had 
My God, who told you to do such a good thing? All right, it's now it's too late for some of y'all because this person is all the way up in your energy. Uh huh. For real, what is this? Tell me more on this psycho person here. What's the next uh, 24? Okay, so you're closing this cycle. This is the next 24. Okay, you're not taking any another bite of that damn apple. Okay, ever. Okay, you're not taking another bite of this apple. You're closing that shit out. That's some period. You're closing that chapter of your life. You're no, you're, you are no one floozy, okay? You're nobody's floozy. You're not bending your back for people who are not bending their back for you. No period. The seven of ones in the reverse. It's time that you give up on that situation because the situation already gave up on you a long time ago. Having you feeling very overwhelmed here. Time that you protect your energy here with the seven of wands in the reverse. What is the seven of wands in the reverse, really? The seven of wands in the reverse is your strength. Having the courage to move forward here. You already gave the situation patience. You need to take control here because this is your strength we're talking about. Okay, Leo the Lion, honey. Okay? For some of you, the judgment, it pulled through the energy. Major, major energy pull. Pulling through the judgment in the reverse. Self-doubt, refusing to see a situation here for what it is. Angel is not happy. Okay? With this emperor energy in a low-ass vibration. The emperor in the reverse, the page of cups in the reverse. What have you done for me lately? Okay, with the damn devil also being here, it's over, it's done. Breaking free from a situation, breaking a cycle, getting your power back, and reclaiming your self dignity. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Somebody's a narcissist here because they're free spirit and they don't want to give you anything that you know that's going to set you free here. What is the judgment in the reverse of strength and the seven of wands? Also in the reverse. The Five of Cups, okay? I'm sorry. The Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. The Five of Swords, there's so much conflicts here that's having you feeling broken, bringing tension in your life, having you deal with cycles after cycles back to back, third party in the reverse. Come on now, okay? Dealing with tension and loss and defeat. This person trying to tamper with your energy and why? You're moving into something new. New is what you need. No one should be bringing this low, this tension, this baggage, dealing with this loser energy into the past, into the present. It's a no, it's a no, it's a no. Angels are saying that you need to close this cycle. It's a hell to the freaking no. Okay? Close it out. Chop it, close it, nip it, done it. All right, so this is going to be your next 24. We're going to get right into the no contact. No contact after this one, okay, you guys? So... Um, please give the reads a thumbs up. This is how you support your channel. This is how you support me, your girl. Okay. Um, if you do need to have a person, if you, I already said that, if you do need to have a prayer request, let me know that you need one simply by leaving your initials down in the comment section of the video. Pray for me as I'm also praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye guys.